shot right through the Purdue linebackers. Gilbert Gardner playing with a bit of a neck stinger after injuring it a week ago against Iowa. In the secondary, the big issue, Stuart Schweiger is their potential All-American at free safety. But look for the matchup of Ashante Woodyard versus Marquise Walker. That's going to be very critical to the outcome of this game. Hits, reverse, and they give it back to Marquise Walker on the end of round reverse. And he follows the football. Purdue says they have it. And, and they do. do. Walker coughs up the football, and Purdue able to recover the fumble led by Sean Phillips. The footing, the footing betrays Marquise Walker, and Lloyd Carr is livid over the fact that he thinks he's down. Watch what's going to happen here. The reverse is going to come in this direction. You're going to see all sorts of blue shirts that line up here, but for whatever reason, Walker just cannot come up with it. Take a look. Now watch all the blue shirts are on the side. The white shirts now. Look at this. Look at all of these blue shirts. But right here, he makes his cut. He slips. The ball comes out. I think it's a good call by the official. The ball looked clearly out before he was down. Watch the slip and watch the ball come out. Just as he was coming down, he takes a shot. LeVar now three for three on this drive. And he'll put it on the ground to Askew. And he's across the 40 and out to the 36-yard line. Clemson in North Carolina. Like a lot of the athletes on the two deep, fibbing about his height. Here's LeVar. Going across the middle and completing the Bill Seymour, the tight end is exactly at midfield. First down, Michigan. Stuart Schweiger brought him down after the 14 yard game. Oh, back at 565. Well, Velcro, what a concept. Draw play to Askew, and he's spinning away from some people, and he's out to the 43 of Purdue. Schweiger brought him down after the game of seven. Schweiger did Saginaw, Michigan native. It's hard for me to believe that that number 35 Askew runs a 4-3-4-40, but he certainly is very agile. What he reminds me of a little bit is so Morgan moved, but it wasn't his fault. It was Gilbert Gardner's fault in Purdue. Not to single out Morgan in the middle of the They'll pitch and now hand off. Here's Walker. He's thrown a touchdown pass already. And this one will be intercepted. It's Stuart Schweiger down the sideline. Schweiger with three interceptions on the season. His fourth. And he'll bring it all the way down to the 36-yard line. Bellamy finally bumped him out. But Stuart Schweiger there able to pick off the pass from Marquise Walker. And I'm telling you right now, Bellamy makes a big play in catching him from behind. And I'm not trying to demean what Schweiger did. This is an absolute quail on the part of Walker. Ill-advised because of the way that they were going, I thought offensively. I'm not a fan of this call at all. Here he's going to come on the reverse. He's going to throw a ball here, and Schweiger's going to be in the middle and just make an easy interception. Here he comes in the reverse. Now watch, he's going to throw off the back off the back foot. Does not get a very good throw away, and Schweiger gets it. Now watch in the pursuit. Watch Bellamy come from behind. Don't forget, Schweiger was a Michigan State champion in the 100 meters his junior year, and Bellamy able to catch him from behind. Brandon Hans to Seth Morales had skipped off the turf for an incomplete pass. It'll go as a 58-yard return for Schweiger. He now has nine career interceptions. The school record is 11. The guy's only a sophomore. And don't forget, how great must this feel? He is a Michigan native, and number nine makes this interception. But watch the hustle by number 19. Sean Phillips, if he would have... If you have been looking, could have got a piece of it. Let's go down to Dave Ryan. Todd, just an hour and a half north. That's where Saginaw, Michigan is. And after this play, we'll talk about it. Final moments of the first half. What a story for Swagger today. Hans has Great. missed on his last five pass attempts. That'll go as an incomplete pass to Taylor Stubblefield. It'll look like a catch of a ball. So he's over for his last six, Hans is. Back to Dave. All-American in high school, Steve, and Joe Taylor calls him his most prestigious recruit. That, of course, not counting Drew Brees, who turned out to be a great player after he came from Texas to West Lafayette. But Stuart Schweiger grew up a big Michigan fan, wanted to come play here, had a little miscommunication, apparently, with the Michigan coaches after a scholarship was offered. Turns out he get the most playing time right away at Purdue. Big 10 freshman year defensively. He was tremendous last season and this season, too. Even wanted to go to Michigan State, but they had a coaching change there, and... They want to produce arms, and they're happy about that. Here's Hans on this game as well. Stuart Schweiger had the pickoff. Bellamy, though, went and got him. We're at the half. 14-10, Michigan. We'll be back. Every team Adele for hustling on that play and keeping it only a four-point difference. Opening kickoff to start half number two. It's Todd Howard, and it's a fumble, and I believe Michigan has recovered. 
We showed you on the first half statistics, three Wolverine turnovers, and yet they still lead by four. They're able to hang on to this one. It will keep the football first and ten. Stuart Schweiger doesn't want to put his helmet in there to knock it loose, but the Mason Blue are able to recover. It's it. That's all he remembered. The last play, and of course it was the deciding play, is B.J. Askew is the ball carrier. Landon Johnson to stop, and we send it back to Brian Kenny. Walker, five catches, 116 yards. That was a gain of 13 on the play. And off to Chris Perry. Down to the seven-yard line. Aiken Adele to stop and send you back to Brian Kenny. Steve, you make the 54 games. The last thing in there was Miami. As Chris Perry powers through down to the six, Brady Doe stopped him. That's what I love the focus and the composure of John Navarre here. Navarre putting it on the ground to Chris Perry. Stuart Schweiger made the stop. And Parrish went on to say, hey, he coaches really hard. to hear a coach talk about that. Certainly when you have a position as crucial as quarterback, you can't afford the luxury of having an ottoman on it. can't make his decisions. And Perry, the ball carrier, the ball dropper. It was a great run by Perry, but Purdue able to recover the fumble. Nico Kudavides, his second fumble, re fumble recovery today, and the fourth turnover by Michigan. Well, Perry had a head of steam and was in the hole and had the first down. Runs over a tackler in the hole and for some reason just loses the ball. That's Joe Odoms. He runs right over the top of. I think that was Schweiger who tackles him and gets his hand in there and strips the ball for Kodavides to come up with it. I'm sorry, that was number 12. That was that was Rogers, I believe. Antoine Rogers who's able to make the strip and Kudavides comes up with the turnover. 